was it's one thing for Republicans to sign a letter, and we've seen that she's, Vice President Harris has been endorsed by 200 Republicans in the national security space, all kinds of people from George W. Bush's administration. There's been a lot of people who will sign letters, and maybe they'll go on TV, they'll release a statement. I was just with uh, Republican Congressman Charlie Dent, former Republican Congressman here from the state. He voted for you uh, in his early voting. Uh, but you were out here campaigning. You were out here holding events. So talk about why it's been so important to you to be as involved as you are in getting Vice President Harris elected. Well, thank you so much, Sarah, for the question. And, and it's an honor to be here today with you, Madam Vice President. Um, you know, uh, for me, Every, every single thing in, in my experience and in my background um, has, has played a part in my decision to endorse Vice President Harris. Um, and, you know, that, that begins with the fact that I'm a conservative. And um, I know that the most conservative of all conservative principles is being faithful to the Constitution. And you have to choose in this race between someone who has been faithful to the Constitution, who will be faithful, and Donald Trump, who it's not just us predicting how he will act. We watched what he did after the last election. We watched what he did on January 6th. Um, and so uh, coming to this as someone who's been a lifelong Republican, a lifelong conservative, um, also as someone who's spent I spent time working overseas before I was elected to Congress. And I've, I've spent time working in countries where people aren't free and where people are struggling for their freedom. And I know how, how quickly democracies can unravel. Um, and I know that as Americans, we um, can become accustomed to thinking, well, we don't have to worry about that here. Um, but I, I tell you, again, as someone who um, has seen firsthand uh, how quickly it can happen, um, that that is what's on the ballot. It's absolutely what's on the ballot. I also, uh, I come to this decision uh, as a mother. I have five children. And uh, there was a moment right after January 6th when my husband and I were having dinner with our two youngest, our two sons. And I looked across the table at my, my young sons and I thought to myself, you know, in the aftermath of the attack on the Capitol, are they going to grow up in a country where we don't have to worry about the peaceful transfer of power? Are they going to grow up in a country where that is guaranteed? And, and I believe that every one of us in this election has a duty and an obligation to do what we know is right for the country, uh, and that's to support Vice President Harris. So I'm very honored to be here. <laughs> of our ideals, the, the, the basis of our Constitution, we represent a gold standard. And when we have someone who has been president, who wants to be president again, who is saying he would be dictator on day one, 
would weaponize our Department of Justice, one of the principles of our democracy, is that we say we have a justice system that is blind, that is not punitive against one's enemies. They are watching. So this is about direct impact on the American people, and it most certainly will impact people around the world.